Are you responsible? That's what it's giving. You guys, this lamp is stunning. Who's that? If we're looking for clothes, it's going pretty successful. <laughs> Sorry. I get like this about clothes. sunglasses on the inside because i thought it would be cute anyways what's up y'all welcome back to my channel we're back with another i guess you could say moving vlog because i'm still in the process of doing moving stuff and we have some fun stuff to do today because we got the bulk of like the nasty annoying like just not fun stuff to do out of the way all i have left now is like miscellaneous boxes and then after that i'm pretty much done but i'm probably not gonna unpack them until like next weekend like this is what i'm talking about so i've got so i've got these few things over here and these are just those really annoying containers that just have whatever in them and then i have some bags over there that are carrying like things like bags and then there's also still a few boxes outside y'all i'm struggling with my hair a little bit like it looks good but it's not giving what it gave the other day i mean of course not because that was like freshly done but um also i lost my heatless curler my heatless hair roller and so i've just been trying to make something shake with flexi rods which they work but they don't do it exactly like how i want to do it so if y'all see me keep playing with my hair today that's why but forget that we have my closet back again y'all i have my closet back again and i have been doing my best to post fashion content still like over here in the vlogs and over on tiktok and um instagram but it's been very hard because i have not had like the things that go inside of my closet like when i packed everything before i left I packed a whole bunch of stuff that I knew I could do a whole lot with. So it was very like minimal pieces and stuff. But also I told you guys that um, when I hit 26, I felt like I wanted to grow up a little bit. So that doesn't mean that I got rid of like all of my clothes that are a little bit on the edgy side. And like, like I said, like I didn't get rid of Y2K stuff because this shirt obviously is kind of Y2K. Um, actually, it's not kind of. It very much is. <laughs> but you guys just haven't been seeing me in that stuff as much because i only had like minimal capsule closet pieces and things that i was buying new to add to my wardrobe i already have all the cute edgy pieces like not all but like a lot so i was trying to work on like the nicer pieces so that's all i was having to wear like these past couple of months okay. as you can see my closet has made deep improvements we'll go through it some more later because right now she's kind of messy but i'm just coming in here so i can get the sweater um but we're gonna go with like my go-to right now i've been loving 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 this sweater right here we're just gonna put it right here so you can see it better but yeah this little gap sweater that i got not too long ago it's got like some wool in it so it's super warm with the little gold buttons like i feel like this is gonna look cute on top just gonna throw it on real quick like Ugh. i'm probably gonna pass out trying to wear it inside though okay so here is the official outfit i had to go fix my hair real quick too because she was playing but i think we got her together now so i added the little gray cardigan <laughs> I feel like it's giving. Oh, I miss my clothes so much, y'all. The little pop of yellow matches the little gold buttons. And then the cardigan also matches like the little silver flats. <laughs> this is what I've been like just craving to do. I've been craving to like mix my kind of more capsule grown up clothes that I've been buying and mix them with my clothes that I've been wearing and just kind of make like a cleaner look and a cleaner outfit because I just feel like 
this is more my age than what I had been doing like last year. She's so cute. Uh, we got the little cross necklace. We got some little rings. The glasses to make me feel like a Leah. <laughs> Are you responsible? That's what it's giving. Sometimes I'm goody goody. Right now I'm naughty not. Ooh! <laughs> that is what it's giving right now. Okay, let me show you like in the mirror so you can actually see the full outfit for real because it's so hard to show it right here. Alright, so now you can see the full fit. Super, super baggy jeans. I love it. I think it's so cute and it's kind of warm. So I'll be still really cozy. So cute. What do you guys think? Do you like? I know I'm trying to switch some of y'all over to the dark side of flats, okay? I was anti-flats and now I'm so team flats. It's insane, but all right. Getting ready to go. By the looks of my fridge, ignore this. This is my sister's little meal that she left here. Um, but yeah, your girl has no grocery, so we definitely need to hit the grocery store today because I don't play that. I like to eat, okay? It's got to be full. I keep a full refrigerator and pantry. We don't do empty one of those over here. And then also, we need to run to, I say run like we're not about to dilly-dally in leisure, um, but we need to go to Ikea because I have this vision, and it's not really a vision, okay? I'm not gonna act like it's mine. I saw it on TikTok. Uh, this girl kind of revamped her, not revamped, but she just added some shelving, and it made it look really nice in her closet. And I'm able to do this too, the way she did it, because I have like the same like nice shelving in my closet. But pretty much, it's going to allow me to put up like my designer boxes and my nice shoes and just look, make it look real cute just in case I want to film right there in my closet. So yeah, a lot to do today. So let's go ahead and go. So we just got done having a little snacky snack because we literally cannot function if we are hungry. Um, but obviously we are in Ikea. I just have a few things on the list that I'm looking for. So number one, it's not really number one, but just it, that comes to the top of my head. Uh, I need to find like a bar that can move because I want to, no, not a bar, an island. One of those little islands with wheels because I was telling y'all in the last video that I really want an island in my kitchen. I don't have one. I just have like that wrap around bar, which is really useful, but it's just easier for me as a content creator to have an island too. Um, but also my mom was saying that it'd be a good idea to find one that's like, what did you say, a wooden one? Or did I say that? No, you said wheels, but I have in my head that I want something that incorporates wood, but I also am going to um, make it a desk as well whenever I need like a desk. Cause I don't always need one, but it's just nice to have when I feel like having it. And then also, like I was stating to y'all earlier, I need to find some little shelves to put at the top of my closet to help me organize like my purses, my cute shoes. I mean, all my shoes are cute, but like my nice shoes <laughs> and like the boxes and stuff. So we're gonna see what they have and then maybe we'll see a bit of inspo because y'all know I'm really not trying to buy no Ikea furniture, just really the things that I know that I won't be able to find like anywhere else with places like this so then you're not gonna keep long term oh yeah she said things that i'm not gonna keep long term because i'm manifesting a house <laughs> so here are some islands right here but i definitely need some that have wheels like i said because i'm trying to transfer it uh, transfer it but um yeah y'all see it y'all see the vibes do they have more than this one or these mm -hmm. I see some over there, but I don't see anything with wheels. Oh, you're trying to see if you can find a little thing for my balcony? Yeah. That is a cute little wooden chair. I am looking for a really small, tiny little set that I can eat on, on my balcony. This is a cute little chair. But like, yeah, it's pretty sturdy, I would say. Let me see. Let's see. Yeah, sturdy. I'm chilling. <laughs> oh yeah so i should take a picture of the info for this chair let's see is it 
on the chair or should have been on the chair. I don't see anything on this chair. You got another one over there too that has the black in. Where? This? Yeah. So she was saying it'd be cute to like get uh, two of those and they're only $25 like each um, and then just finding a finding a different table to go with it. Yeah, but those are a little big. Those chairs are a little big. She's talking about this one. And then, wait, what, which one are you talking about? That's what I said, this one. <laughs> She's also looking at this one right here. So there's the black and wood one and then there's just the wood one over there so i don't know i think it just depends on what little mini table we can find if we find something like that this weekend but yeah i was telling you like you can find these for really tiny but this is not cute like i don't like this but i want something like the set to be this small because obviously the balcony is like not a porch so I'm looking at getting something like this. This is called the Billy Bookcase, but honestly, this is a little wider than I want it to be. I want to say this might be the same height, or maybe, I don't know. It's either wider or taller than I want it to be. It might be taller, because that might be too tall to fit on the shelf in my closet. Um, but I'm basically trying to find shelves like this to like extend the storage space uh, above those shelves that are on uh, my wall already so yeah I just need to find this but like a shorter version because this is intense and it might bust down my whole entire closet and I'm, I'm trying to get multiple of these like maybe two of these or enough to fit like the width of the closet so let me keep looking around and see what they have there's also this one right here why is the other one cheaper than this maybe because it's cut down the middle like this I don't know let me look at the picture again of what I'm trying to get. I think with her, what I like about hers, it is doesn't have the divider. Right. Yeah. More useful. So I need like this height, but not a divider. So we need to find, I guess, bookcases. Because these are book. This is a bookcase, and this mm -hmm. is a shelf, like a shoe shelf. So that was a bookcase, but not all of them are have many smaller than that. And let me see what size this bookcase was okay so we came up on this and this is exactly what i envisioned for like my tv stand i want something super low and at first i thought i wasn't going to be able to do these because i was like oh it's closed off like this but then i saw that literally this comes up and then you can push it back and the reason why i really wanted it to be exposed like this is because if i get this i'm gonna take this shelf completely off i won't even use it because i really want to line books up in here and it, use it kind of like a bookshelf and then i'll have like my record player and whatever else i want to put up here and my tv will be above it so it's about six hundred dollars super cute like the color literally the color that i want height everything like it's doing everything i need it to do now it won't fit every single book that i need because it's it's not short but it's just not like the really big books are not going to fit but it's okay because i don't think most of my books are that tall anyways but oh, this is so on my list right here mm -hmm. <laughs> very much so i'm saving get this the, get the chef boy rd because y'all know how i feel about this but it's better than just standing here with these hanging out my head like that's not gonna work for me so um anyways happy saturday we are actually about to get ready she's already started getting ready but i'm about to get ready because we are going we're finally going vintage shopping so 
I know, I think this is what everybody has been excited about. I'm definitely excited about it. Um, pretty much, it's like this big vintage shop, or it's like an antique store. I think it's like nothing but decor and furniture that's at this place. But anyways, um, my friend sent it to me some weeks ago because she knows like I like stuff like that and then I was moving. So, we're going to go see if we can go to it today. If not, there's some other things on the list. And if not, we're eventually going to go because I have to get my hands on that place because I really, really, really want to find like some old paintings and stuff like and like wood fixtures and things like that. Little like knickknacks to place everywhere because... I'm just excited, okay? Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and gather what I'm wearing. I already kind of have an idea of what I want to go for. I actually am thinking about wearing that same black vest that I wore, I think, in the last video. Because I want to wear it how I wanted to wear it in that video. But I just felt like the outfit that I had in mind was just a little too much for going to the hair salon and sitting down. Like, I was like, mm-mm. I want people to see me. So, I'm going to wear it again because... I don't care about things like that and let's see as far as pants go we are going to do the black trousers finally if I can figure out where I put them I need like some lights down here or something the girl can't see I might have not hung them back up I'm not sure huh Yeah, everything is not super gathered right now, if you're wondering. I've not completely finished the closet yet, but I have, like, mostly everything in here. What did I do with those trousers? Oh, my gosh. I need those. Where did it? Honestly... I just had another thought though instead of the trousers because I do kind of want to make it more of like a relaxed outfit so the trousers are kind of not as relaxed and they do have wool in them so they're a little they're a little warm so this might be a better idea anyways so I have these um 90s style straight legs that I think will be cute if I pair it with like my black and gold belt and that vest so let's see I think that's gonna be cute the only thing is I did kind of want um, the bagginess of the trousers. So if I find them, I may try both. But now we come down to the issue of what shoe that I want to wear. Because that, I have not thought that far ahead. Let's see. Should I like make it street and wear sneakers or should I wear like socks and loafers i don't know and i have shoes everywhere y'all and the funny thing is i don't even have all my shoes in here yet because i really don't have anywhere to put the rest of my shoes which is why i was trying to find shelving yesterday so i have to figure that out <laughs> here's sneakers um, but then we could also do like the pop of red that's been popping, but I don't like that idea with the fact that I want to wear this black and gold belt. I feel like that's, that's clashing. I don't like that. Um, I can wear these, these loafers with some socks. Mm. I see what all is back there. I might try the loafers with the socks thing and see how that looks. I wish I had a red bag because I really want to do the pop of cherry red bag look. <sighs> okay. Okay, so I'm just about ready. As you can see, we're going with an all black look today. So I put on this little lace bralette because i'm hoping when i put this vest on it's going to kind of layer over it and do like show like a little bit of lace i'm hoping i don't actually know what it's going to do but we're going to see but so far i like this outfit let's see i might have to just button it like maybe lower or something i don't know or maybe 
Let me see. Maybe I can scoot it up because I need it to show. I don't think it's going to show if I button it right there. I mean, it shows just a little bit. Hold on. Let's try one more lower. It's just that I really don't like buttoning that low. It kind of makes like an awkward silhouette. So we might just have to deal with that slight bit showing right here. If I can just scoot it up some more. Um, yeah, that's the best I got. Uh, and then I'm going to put on, you guys know, my favorite black and gold vintage belt. They just knew how to do it back in the day with things like this. Which is why pieces like this are best in vintage, I feel like. Ugh. I definitely need to get some more of these. Okay, let me make sure I'm putting it on right. Hopefully y'all can't see all the lint I have on me right now. I am going to lint roll when I'm done. Let's see. Okay. This is cute. It's really giving for me with like the 90s blowout and then the red like berry lip. And then the like the nails is doing something for me i don't know if i want to stick to this necklace or not because i just have on this little simple cross necklace i don't think i really like it with the cross necklace to be honest it just feels kind of random let me see let's see what else what else we get i do have that one pearl necklace that i really like but i also don't know if i want to go with that i think i just want to go with something super minimal and streamlined so we might go with my, um, I forgot what they call these necklaces. We might just go with this one right here to just keep it really, really simple. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, I think I like that a lot better. Mm -mm. Okay, let me go get my socks and my shoes. These are the shoes we're going to wear. We're going to wear these super duper chunky loafers with like a little chain accent on them of course i'm gonna show y'all a full outfit in the mirror but i just don't like to get ready in my bedroom come on come on shoot hopefully these are gonna be comfortable all day that's my only concern loafers are just at least the ones i have are just not the most comfortable they don't hurt they're just clunky you know all right i'm gonna go pick up a bag and then we'll look at the whole outfit well, here is the full outfit. I'm just going really sleek today. Touches of gold. I just love like a black and gold look. I told you I used to be like a black and silver girl. But now I'm feeling like black and gold is elite. And I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't know if I have like gold undertones or something. I think it's something on TikTok. It's like a trend. People matching their undertones up with what, what jewelry color they should wear. And I feel like when i did the little test for mine i want to say i was a gold person as far as what complements my skin color um but yeah i feel like it looks really cute i did decide to go with the button uh just buttoned right here so you can see a little bit of the little lace bralette so here's like a little closer look like it's all about the details for me when you wear kind of a plainer outfit like this you do want to add like a lot of details to not make it so like blah you know so we did add a whole bunch of jewelry the watch the rings the mismatch medals bracelets necklace earrings and then at the bottom i've got on these shoes with a little hint of a white sock so it's giving hee hee but it's okay i think it's cute what do you guys think very different from yesterday's outfit you guys know my my outfits change literally like the weather so I just wear whatever I'm in the mood for, and this is today's mood. Y'all, please peep this cart that I put at the door that acts as like a PR cart and also like just packages I've ordered. Clearly, we're going to have to do an unboxing, um, but I might wait until my mom leaves so we can really get into everything. But um, yeah, I do have to update y'all on a few things in here. Not too much, mostly like the bathroom, and then I did add a few things in the kitchen to make it look a little cute, but we'll look at everything either tomorrow or when we get back because we have things to do. All right, so we made it to the spot. There is a lot of stuff in here, like a lot, a lot. So, oh, not the jewelry. That's the last thing I need to be looking at right now. Yeah, I know, okay, that's <laughs> Tiffany bracelet. Let's um, pull over to this side right here. But um, I didn't even realize that this place has 
um, modern stuff too. So it's not just like a vintage antique market, but it's one of those places where people are personally selling things. So obviously a lot of people do like to sell like vintage decor and antique decor. So there is a lot of that in here. So we're about to dig through it. Those are cute. I think I like those better than the ones from Anthropology. Do you? <laughs> you just be talking. Look at this little flask. Mm -hmm. I'm not a flask girl, but I think that's cute. These are definitely something that I'll get from the secondhand store. For sure. But that's a cute book. Yeah, that's cute. That is nice. I was just looking at that. I feel like I have to see everything in here before I actually start picking stuff up. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, these baskets are cute too, but I already have like a million and one baskets. I like this one little wooden thing over here. You see that over there? The little holder and that pot. Do you see that pot? Oh, do you think my plant would fit in that? That is so cute. I love that because I do want like a really rustic looking pot and I love that one because my apartment's so white. So I want to add like some dark pieces. I'm actually high key overwhelmed right now. There's so many cute things. This is pretty. It won't look right in my apartment, but it's just so pretty. I hope y'all are okay with me just kind of walking around because I am trying to film for TikTok right now too. Did you see something that you really like? Hold on a second. Cause I have to see every single shelf in here. Cause she's sitting over there looking all suspicious and whatnot this is looking a little more modern than i want i want things a little more rustic than this let's see oh this wooden bench is so cute is that the same one the same oh you see another one over there or something let me see oh that is cute for the end of what though Before, the end of my, do you think that would look okay with like carpet in my room though and you can actually put another um, rug there. We are, thank you. This is really cute. It's so thin though, like if I want to sit on it, it looks like it would topple over. Mm -hmm. I guess not, because it's got like the legs at both of them, because I'm literally kicking it right now. And my butt ain't that big, I guess. <laughs> so, it is cute though. But I do think I like the smoother wood one right here. Cause I don't really want to go too rustic. Like I want rustic, but not too rustic. But then again, the color of this one isn't really the color I'm looking for. Like I like the color of the other one, but like the width and the smoothness of this one. I just need to build my own <laughs> bench. All these chairs kind of remind me of my chairs. Are these dark blue? So cute. If I had a house. <laughs> if I had a house. I'm still manifesting the house, y'all. What is this? Like a big goblet? She is not listening to me. <laughs> Where are you off to now? Not you shopping for you. I, I didn't know this was the agenda. That would be so pretty in my hallway. That would be pretty though. That's clearly old. It is. The little details on it. I love that. She's a cutie. Aren't these dark blue chairs everything, y'all? Like, I literally cannot contain myself. I'm so distracted. I love this. It looks like, some, did somebody buy this? It's low-key a little, takes up a little room, though. If this wasn't white, too, because I, I have a white couch already, so I can't do another, like, white cushion. But isn't this chair cute? I love that Like, I can't do that color, but it's so cute. Like, I love the details of the legs and stuff. So nice. Stuff over here is looking really old. I don't know why, but I love things like this. Like, it really just gives me dark academia. Obviously, it's not going to my apartment. It's more of a thing that I have an appreciation for rather than, like, I want to have it. But low-key, like, a dream of mine is to have a hidden little library in my house. Like, it looks like a closet, and then you enter, and it's a hidden library. And it's literally, like, dark academia themed with, like, couches like this and armchairs and... I just think that would be so so cool but it's obviously like just too powerful of a chair to go in just a regular apartment so that's not gonna work look at this um 
this table though. This is really rustic too. She's cute. Girl, what is this? This looks like a human Dobby or something. Child, I wanna know who buys this and I wanna know what they do with it. Like they have to have like an obsession with like fantasy type things. <laughs> I love this. It's heavy. Oh, it's clearly, I don't know, this is old. Gosh, it's dirty. It's really pretty. Y'all, there's so much good stuff over here. Like, I actually cannot. The little pots. Now we can get lost over here. Like, look how much is over here. What's up? Wait, are you looking at a mirror? You're ridiculous. I want one of these. I'm gonna want one of these, but she's calling me. I want you. That is really cute. Oh my gosh. I'll be taking it. No, you won't. <laughs> How much is it? $300. It's cute. It's very, what is that, the mid century modern? That would go so good. You need a new couch, though. Oh, I'm working on it. That is really cute. I would replace it. You love the wood and the mix of the silver, yes. huh? Yes. To me, I feel like that's me. Yeah, that is cute. That is really cute. I like it. You know what it would be really cute with? What? That I won't give you? What? My white chairs. <laughs> Do you like these? The only thing, I don't like this iron thing on it. Like, I, I like the ruggedness of them to add, like, some texture to the counter. I just... Do they come without this? Turn it sideways like that. Sorry, I'm blocking the camera, y'all. My bad. <laughs> Are you getting that mirror? Are you gonna you gonna do a walkthrough? And if you're still thinking about it, yeah. She's cute. That mirror has me in a choke hold right now. She is a cute. Who owns this part of the market? Cause they are doing what has to be done. Let's see what's over here. I don't want to miss a thing. She wants me to try on this coat, y'all. So I'm gonna try it on. I'm gonna look like Big Bird. Hold this. I think it's so cute. Hold it. Oh, not the little vintage. Is that a vintage? <laughs> Right. That's so cute. Okay. Oh, it's Kate Spade. Mm hmm It is really cute. It's a little pricey. It is a little pricey. <laughs> what do I look like? Hey, big bird. <laughs> Especially with a sock. Oh, like. mm -hmm. Let's go. I can't. <laughs> Why is this so yellow? I don't know. That's funny. And these sleeves are short. Yeah, they are too short for. This is a bright jacket. Yeah. Goodness gracious! Everybody will see me. Who's that girl? I look like that. There. That rich auntie. <laughs> <laughs> Just a this. So I love this little. This little arm thing, but I needed to be way smaller because this is like this is half the size of my couch, I think. But if this was like a smaller version of this, like I love the color of it. She's gorgeous. This is actually not even a bad price for this big one. It's just way too big. She would not fit, unfortunately. But I love the style of it for sure. Like that's something I'm looking for for the little accent chair. You guys, this lamp is stunning. It has a nice stunning price to match, mm -hmm. but it is a stunning lamp. 
Oh my goodness. If I, oh, if that was not that price on a little side table next to my couch, that would eat. Oh. oh my goodness. I wish I knew like the name of it so I could like research what this is. This Ooh, one back that, here that is pretty too. Solid. And it's actually more expensive than the black. I that like is so better. nice. I actually like the black because my couch is white, better? just for what I have. Mm -hmm. Like it would contrast with my white couch. This more times. Yeah. And I also like kind of heavier, clunky, like academic looking things mm -hmm. like that. So. It's a, it's a vanity. It's oh, pretty. It, it's actually a vanity. So it's made for someone to do like a marble. Oh, so it just came without like a? Yeah. So this is for like a bathroom. I love this right here. Yeah. I feel like grandma had something really similar to this growing up. I don't remember. I don't think so. Oh, just like the front. Like but this, that. This would be beautiful with some Carrera marble. She knew the name of the marble. <laughs> oh, hold on. Wait. Painting stop. <laughs> Art stop. Oh, this is cool. I don't know what this is, of but this of course is doing it for me. I don't want to see the price. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh goodness. Oh, it's gorgeous. I don't know why it kind of gives like dark. I don't know. I love this, you guys. It's like she's laying down, but it feels like she's dead. I don't know. But it's such, oh, I want that. Well, you didn't need to get a guitar for this person. Y'all, look at this little bag that I found. So everything in this area is like 50% off too. And it's this little black and gold little evening bag with a little black pearl opening. Like, hold on, let me show you the inside. If I can get it. Ugh. That's the only draw drawback of this, but it's like a little vintage clutch bag. And I need more like cute evening dainty bags because you don't want to just be walking around with like bulky bags with your evening dresses on. But this is what the inside looks like very clean on the inside it's actually like a little vintage Nordstrom bag like you can see the gold plate in there that says Nordstrom it's so cute I think I'm gonna actually get this it's adorable and you know we love black over here hold on let me let me show you what it looks like with the fit here <laughs> we'll let our our photographer isn't it cute it's cute Hold that jacket up for me. You guys, it's like a little vintage diesel jacket. It's black and then it's got like the, what is this, like a pewter little accent color. And then look at the sleeve, like hold on. It's like a denim little stripe going down the side and it's the perfect size. And it's got the little elbow detail too. <gasps> Y'all already know this is going home with me. Come on, come on. This is gonna be too right cute on, on me. <laughs> Why are you grabbing me? <laughs> Wait a minute. Is so cute. Can you see yourself in yeah, the finder? Can. Oh, I'm this already is set. So cute. Hold on, my glasses are coming off. <laughs> I die. Y'all, do y'all see this jacket? I know y'all mad through the camera right now. If I see somebody vlogging and they had this jacket, you know when somebody be shopping and you know it's one of one and you can't get it? I'd be so mad. Like, this is one of those moments. <laughs> it's the accent on it. The accent on it is everything. Oh, this only she applies is going to home this, with this me. This only applies to home. I'm sorry, I want this jacket. Okay, I'm already put it on. Yeah, yeah. This one is not 50% off. Well, put, the, put it on and I'm in love now. 
Oh my goodness, if somebody was getting like a really big modern home, this couch is everything. She is beautiful. Oh. I have to say, if we're looking for clothes, it's going pretty successful. <laughs> there have been some cute little decor things, but I feel like with these type of places, you just kind of take pictures of it and then like if you're still thinking about it you go back around and go to it so i have taken like a few pictures of things i think the thing on the top of my list right now that i've seen that i like is this pot for my plant because i've been wanting like a really rustic looking pot um for my what is that plant i have i don't even know the name of my plant i'm a terrible plant mom i water her that's about it <laughs> information outside of that don't know Y'all, I am beyond gagged on this chair. Also beyond gagged at the price. <laughs> Goodness. See, this is why we have to go to a thrift store or something. Because at these um, like markets like this where it's curated, it's super expensive because they have really like small selection for each booth. But I feel like if you were to go to like a, just a secondhand place where they're just trying to get rid of things, it would be like so much cheaper, but this is so cute. Like I love how it sits low. I love like the darkness of the cushion, the wood. Oh, that looks so good in my living room. Obviously this does not fit my aesthetic, but I really appreciate this vibe. Like everything about this actually. The little blanket, the black couch, the little cushion. That's so cute to me. Here she go, y'all. I'm sorry. She done found a blanket. That does look like a really nice blanket. <laughs> Here she goes. I can't help it. Hold it out. Like stop that is nice. Like it the heck out of you. you must be stopped. It's a nice blanket. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Is it I don't know. It's pretty. <laughs> yeah. I love these two chairs right here. They're like a chocolate brown color. But unfortunately, they're only selling them as pairs. And I don't need two. I need one. But I do want something like just small and cushy like this. And dark. I'm looking for something dark. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I'm so mad. This thing is way too long, but this is exactly what I need to put like my TV over. And it's absolutely gorgeous. But we've already measured and this is definitely too long. Ugh, I'm so obsessed with this. I'm so mad. Ugh, so pretty. Do y'all see this? Man, don't, don't make me mad. I'm out, come on. Look where we're headed. Clearly this rug city over here. Goodness gracious. We can't even get to all of this. This is crazy. Y'all have to come out here if you are in the Atlanta area. Like this is a must. My mom was just saying we're gonna be here regularly. We're doing meet and greet. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we just left out of the market. I think it was a nice market. It was huge, first of all. So if you do go, make sure you have a lot of time on your hands because you're not gonna wanna go and like not see everything that they have. We didn't go through all the rugs because they had so many rugs, just so many. But they were also huge at the same time. Um, but yeah, like my feet hurt low key <laughs> going through there. I think we spent like, you said two hours? Oh, more more than two hours it was a really long time that we spent in there but we did find like some cute little knickknack things and like accessories and clothes and stuff like that so i told her we're gonna do a little couch haul when we get back so we can actually show y'all everything and like look into what we're gonna do with it and stuff like that but they also have two more locations apparently so i just i say just google it it's called um west side market this is the midtown uh location so yeah just google it and you can find one like maybe closer to you or if you just want to try the different ones out but i highly recommend it was a really good one all right it's haul time we love haul time over here uh so i have both oops, i have both what i got and then also i'm going to show you guys the stuff my mom got because she found a few things too um 
we can actually let's start with your stuff let's see what you got up in here so the first thing she picked up they had like a mixture of clothes but mostly like furniture and decor and stuff like that um but she did come across this one little coach bag so it's a little vintage coach bag it's brown nice good leather you can see there are like a few scratches but the uh the condition is actually pretty good on it you know the, beauty of it. <laughs> the inside still very clean as well it's gonna make her like a good little good little hobo bag it's really cute it's even cute with like an all black outfit like this it's a really really nice color um what else did she get let's see what did you get in here okay it's just a white little bracelet but we're not gonna dig into that because that's too much to get into i don't remember what this was oh yeah i'll wrap it back so they did like wrap everything really well as y'all can see like i mean everything i think the only thing in here that's not wrapped is that brown bag so she got this little candle holder. Isn't it gorgeous? She was gonna leave it there and I was looking like, <laughs> side eye, bombastic side eye. You need to go back. So she's gonna put this in the living room and she also got some matching candle sticks. So actually let's go ahead and open those. But yeah, that's really cute. I feel like that's gonna help add like a little touch of modern into her decor. Huh? Oh, that wasn't shade. I'm just modern. You can use more. You can get some more. <laughs> um, and then let's see. These are the candlesticks right here. I just want to show you guys the color of them because they had a lot of options. Which I got some also, and I'll show y'all which ones I got and what I'm planning to do with them because I actually already have the holders for them. She got these gorgeous, like little kind of taupey brown ones. I think this is so pretty. I should have left this out so you could see the comparison of the color. So like that is just gonna look really, really nice in that. Like, do you see that? That is so pretty. Are you gonna light these? Or are you yeah. just gonna let them sit? Cause they will be gorgeous lit. Ugh. I don't like those. Cause I know some people they'll set them out and they won't ever light it. But like, if I have stuff like that, I'm lighting it. That thing getting lit up. <laughs> The only thing is when these run down, I got to find another plug to get them from and a good quality one. Because these weren't cheap, but they were like, they seemed like good quality and I like the shape. Anthropology. I think Anthropology has them. Mm -hmm. One of them bougie places. <laughs> and then she also picked up this book. So I showed you guys a little bit of art actually from this artist. Um, it's a black artist. I forgot his name. I'm sure it's going to be on here. I think his name was like Elroy or something like that. But I put all the info in the video because I was showing you guys some of the pieces that I just thought were magnificent. Girl, rip that open. Hmm? Um, I suggest rip it open. Um, well, I'm one of those people when I open gifts, like I, I rip slow. <laughs> okay, so this is what the book looks like. She has it closed up right now. You can take it out. I can take it out? How am I going to open it? I'm not breaking down knife key something but while she's getting something to open with this is what the cover looks like now of course she's probably not gonna lay it out like this so i'm gonna show you guys what the underneath looks like because it's pretty because that's one thing i'm gonna be doing when i go to like some thrift stores or you know some places with some vintage furniture and decor i'm gonna be looking for the books with those little covers on them because if you take them off a lot of times they have a really pretty underneath and they make really good coffee table books if you don't want to pay like a hundred dollars per coffee table book um but yeah this is what the outside looks like but underneath it looks like this it's really pretty matte black with the artist's signature on it very pretty see it just says my authentic self that's the name of the book by i said elroy i'm sorry hey, leroy. leroy i thought it was leroy leroy campbell i may i like did it backwards or something <laughs> i tried okay but just to give you guys a flashback of 
what art I'm talking about. It was it was like those faceless paintings. It's a lot of like black history type of things. You know, we love that, but it was gorgeous. Very pretty book. That's gonna look really nice on her coffee table. And I think she's just gonna kind of go through it and pick like her favorite pages and probably like leave it open sometimes or even leave it closed with the black, but it's really nice. Okay, that's everything that she got. She spent more money than me. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. I love when I'm the person that spends the least money. Because a lot of times I'm the person that does. So, it's so, unless I'm with her. I feel like if I'm with you, I feel like you beat me out a lot. <laughs> so, but when I'm with my friends, oh, it's a good chance. It's me, honey. It is me. But this bag was a good find. I can't wait to see her in this one. She is really, really pretty. This is very in style right now. And you know, everybody's going towards like the vintage bags now. So, good find. All right, now for my stuff, let's get into it. So, let's see what this was. Oh, okay, so this was that bag. I actually found most of my stuff in one section, so it was from one seller. Clearly, they just knew my taste over there, okay? um but this is that little bag that i was showing you guys that i wanted isn't she so pretty she's even prettier now that she's at my house <laughs> i just feel like it looks so good with like the all black and the white in the background like it's giving but i just love like the little gold detailing the gold chain i love bags like this that are old and vintage because it's just such better much better quality like this chain isn't going to turn on me like it's this has been in existence for some existence for some time and look how good it looks and that's what i love about vintage things so yeah she is very very pretty can you guys imagine when i find actually i found my lbd it's just out of stock but when i get my perfect lbd she's gonna be worn with this cute little clutch and i'm gonna feel like that girl because i am that girl okay um yeah very cute love her we're just gonna sit her right there so y'all can look at her anyways um let's see what is this oh, okay so i found this from that same section and i love this one too this is like the one decor item that i found so i'm on a mission to find a whole bunch of like vintage not a whole bunch because i don't look y'all i'm not going for the walls where people have their wall decked out on a whole bunch of paintings and portraits i think it's cute for them it's gonna give me anxiety or something but i do want quite a few just like vintage original like little paintings well, i'm not sure if it's original but you know just not common you know like everybody's not gonna find it at home goods is what i'm saying so i found this one little tiny the cutest little smallest little picture and i don't know why this little red pair is just doing something for me <laughs> like number one the little gold frame i think it's so cute but you guys know like i'm not huge on a ton of color but i like little pops here and there and i like like earth tones which this is not an earth tone but if i'm gonna do color it's gonna be like this i just think it's so cute i love it and then you can see like it has just a lot of character you can see like the aging right here i just love the size very very cute um and then oh you guys I, so they almost left my ring, okay? They forgot to wrap my ring and they had called me and I didn't know it was them calling me. I was like, who is calling me? It said United States and that wasn't good enough for me. Like, I need an area. Tell me. You gotta say Atlanta or wherever we're at. Um, and then they called my mom and my mom was like, who is calling me? They, they just called you. <laughs> and so um, they left a voicemail and said that they had still had my ring. And so this is the little ring that we had found in there. So it lifts up. And that's like what makes it different because right here just looks like a regular little oval ring but if you see like that it's like a 3d three-dimensional ring and i just think that's so cute i love that i love things like that that are so simple but also just have like so much character at the same time and that's definitely this ring and i needed more silver rings anyway so she's cute of course she had to come home with me um so these are my candlesticks which I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing with them like literally right after I get up because I already know exactly what I'm doing with them. But they are just these little, hold on, let's unravel them. They are just these little 
like light brown little candles. It's gonna look so cute, you guys. Just give me a second. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Okay, and then the best thing, in my opinion, out of everything I found, because y'all saw me flipping out, y'all know I was not going home without getting this. Something just told me to go look at the clothes, because in each section, I did not look at the clothes. But I feel like my vintage pieces really speak to me. They always just, I think they just be like, Jordan, hey, come here, girl. I got something for you. And so I went over there. I was like, okay, I'll look. And this is what I found. I had no idea what brand it was. And then we looked inside of it. It's actually a vintage diesel jacket, which I love diesel. And I especially love vintage diesel. Like y'all, when did I start wearing diesel? Unknowingly, I didn't even really know what diesel was, but I've been wearing diesel since I was like 14 and I had no idea. <laughs> so I'm obviously I've very much been a diesel girl. Um, so this is what it looks like. She's gorgeous. I love the two toneness. Like this jacket would be cute if it didn't have it, but it really makes it having that two tone look. It just gives it a little bit of extra something. Like Zara could never. Zara could never because this quality, the texture, everything. Like oh the little it's just so detailed the and denim and part it was half off. oh and it was half off because it was actually like a hundred something dollar jacket 150. 150 and i got it half off because i guess nobody was seeing the vision but it's okay that's why i'm here to see the vision um but yeah that little denim stripe it's got the little two-tone accent right here on the zipper she is cute y'all if, if y'all forgot what she looked like on me because i did mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like every excuse to put this jacket back on okay and the sizing is perfect I feel like every time and why I don't really shop vintage so much is because I have the hardest time finding things that actually fit me well because I my toxic trait when I was doing a lot of secondhand shopping was kind of being like oh I can make something out of that not make something but like I can do something with that even though it's not my size or not quite this or not quite that so that's what kind of deters me nowadays so it's really cool to find something that actually is secondhand and vintage that actually fits me that i don't have to settle for or you know make it work like this works for me like obviously even like the arm length fits me it's small enough and short enough and it still fits my long daddy long leg arms like that's crazy this jacket was meant for me <laughs> it's so cute y'all like even this little bralette that i have on underneath imagine just having it on with this little bralette oh i cannot wait to wear this it's a little too hot right now it was like 75 degrees today but it's soon this jacket is coming soon and then look at look at it with the red nails oh, i'm sorry i'm detail oriented when it comes to fashion i'm not detail oriented in anything else but when it comes to my clothes oh i got all the details but that is my little haul from the west side market Hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> okay, so we actually just realized I did not show you guys all of the details of this jacket. So I kind of have to do that really quick. It's just this one. This is the only detail I was missing. But it's got this little denim pocket on the inside. That's crazy. That goes crazy. Like, I love that. Hold on. So I'm actually going to put it on with this little bralette just to see. See what she's giving really quickly. But I just wanted to show you all that before I put it on. You know what this would look cute with? This is like the same color as the laces on my rigs. <laughs> I'm sorry. I get like this about clothes. And I like it with the high waist jeans with the bralette because it's like covering up so. Ooh, ooh, y'all know. I'm like, okay, I'm not trying to build a whole outfit right now. We not here for this. But hold on a second, wait a second. Can y'all imagine this outfit, these shoes? Mm. Y'all, please don't tell me that's not like this outfit would not be iconic. Like, if I wouldn't get good pictures in this, I'd keep wearing it until I got good pictures. That would be iconic with a little spiky heel. All right, I'm done. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, I bought these while I was still in Chicago. What did you say these were made out of? Because they are brass. They're brass. So, they're brass very candlestick holders. They're very, very clunky. 
like really, really heavy, nice quality. So I picked these up while I was at a market in Chicago because I just knew I could definitely do something with them. And so this is what I got the candles for. And they're just gonna sit here in my kitchen. And ooh, hold on, don't you break on me. Make sure it's in there good. I'm gonna burn them and you guys know when you burn the candles like this they kind of do that little leaking look and I absolutely love that such fall vibes like mm, this is gonna be so cute when it's lit absolutely gorgeous so yeah that is what I got the little candlesticks for let's figure out where we're gonna put her at we can probably put it maybe like right here does it look good right there I think it looks cute right there move the google over put that on the edge let me just have it there like that look at my little pair look at my little baby go sorry i'm so excited about this little find all right yep that is a little picture see how i just brought like a little dash of color we love that it's a little dirty in here it's all right <laughs> Let's see if y'all can see me good. I feel like that lighting is it's decent, okay? We're gonna go with it. First of all, I'm sad because I wanted to give you guys a whole entire little book haul. And as you know, <laughs> I'm new to this apartment, so I haven't really figured everything out quite yet. And I had two other books shipped uh, from Target to my apartment, along with some other packages that were also supposed to be here. Apparently they got delivered like almost a week ago. So um, I don't know if somebody got my packages or if they sent them back, but. So yeah, <laughs> I was intending to give you guys like a haul of stuff. So I think I'm gonna save it for the next vlog. I have so much stuff to show you guys anyways, like things that I've bought, things that have been sent to me. So I'm gonna wait till I figure out where the rest of my packages are instead of waiting uh, till I get the other two because who knows when I'm gonna get them, if I get them at all. We're in the middle of October, so I want to show you guys these books now for my girls who like when I talk about little book things. So if you guys like kind of like more not so serious books, you're going to actually like the books that I have to show you guys today because I am in, I am in my holiday era right now, okay? I love Halloween, I love Christmas, and when it comes to Halloween and Christmas, I am corny. I am mad corny, okay? So that is the time where I read corny books and they're fast and easy which is why I like corny books for holidays because you don't have forever to read them. I mean you can read them when you want but me personally I like to set the vibe. Like the vibe has to match the season you know for me personally. Um, so we'll start with the one that I actually am already reading. I have already read this much of the book and I have this much left so I'd say I read like half of the book so far. So the first one is called my roommate is a vampire number one i love vampires okay i've been obsessed with vampires since i was like 12 so it's going past 10 years now that i've been obsessed with vampires more like 15 years okay it, it, it has not left the building um so i just have to get this book called my roommate is a vampire the, the plot is self-explanatory okay you can't say too much with these kind of books because they're so short and quick and cute that if I tell you the plot, I told you the book. Is it something like that's a likely scenario? No, but it's supposed to be Halloween-like and cute, you know? So it's kind of like a little romance story. I wouldn't say it's anything like Twilight. It's too small to be like Twilight. Um, but yeah, it's just cute, short, and sweet. It's a tale as old as time. The vampire is super old. I think she's like maybe 33 or something like that. Um, so yeah, I say give it a shot. I like the book so far. I think you guys should read it if you like cute, corny, Halloween-esque books. Because it does start in October, so this is the time to read it because that's the setting. Um, and then this other one. This book is called The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. So apparently, I did not know that this was a book category. But there's a book category called cozy witchy book so i decided to pick it up so from what i can tell you i have not read it yet but the vibe that it gives it kind of reminds me of like a female version of little harry potter himself but it's she's grown up like she's maybe like a young adult or something like that so i say that because apparently the witch the main witch in this book she is um 
she's an orphan just like Harry Potter, kind of trying to find her place, figure out the magic world. Only she's already fully aware of like her having magical powers and of the witching world. Like any other witching world, you're not supposed to let everybody know that you're a witch, but and she doesn't. She does not let anyone know that she is in a way. What I like about this book, it's definitely giving like modern society. Like I don't know if witches exist, but if they did, they probably doing this. Um, but pretty much she has a social media account where she pretends to be a witch and like it's supposed to be like a playful cutesy pretend thing like everybody knows she's not serious but then I guess one day somebody who follows her is like I guess they like privately DM her and like they're like I know you're so serious <laughs> and so pretty much the cat is out of the bag okay so I guess what they want is her to come meet them or whatever and I don't think she knows any other witches and that's a desire she has she wants to know other ones but she knows she's not supposed to be doing magic and stuff to find them and that's how you find your fellow witches I guess in this book world that's probably not the best explanation of this book like I said I have not started reading it yet um I just thought I'd show them to you guys real quick I wish I could have showed y'all the other two because those are more they're not like cheesy the other two are more like spooky horror which I would have loved to show you so come back in the next vlog we're gonna hope that my books are here number one because I want to show you number two because I want to read them um, but I'm actually going to close it right here because if I don't shut up one of these days in these vlogs, we are going to just have a 24 hour vlog and I'm trying not to do that to y'all, okay? I'm trying not to do that to myself because I have to be the one to edit it. But yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I felt like it was a good time because you guys know I love shopping and we actually even got to do a little clothes shopping. I did not intend to do that, but that's just what happened. Be sure to like the video because that helps my videos out when you take the time to do that. And then if you are not subscribed, why are you not subscribed? One of these days I'll post and you're not even going to know about it because you're not subscribed. So why you, where do I do that at? okay um yeah just make sure you go down below and hit that button but yeah i will see you guys in the next vlog it's gonna be more of a probably finishing not finishing but you know completely having everything unpacked um because i still have some boxes left so we're gonna try and tackle that in the next vlog i've actually already started that vlog so i will see y'all next week i love you so so much